So we have to make it clear that the Chandler acquisition of Cortland Electronics had no connection whatsoever to the nanotech theft that Scott orchestrated. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's from my attorney. Scott sent over those divorce papers. Oh. That's probably why he called the house earlier. What? Scott called when? Well, before we left. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. No, you're not. Okay, you're right. I'm not. Because I know if you would have spoke to him, you would have been upset. I'm just trying to protect you. Yeah, it's strange. Um, I remember when I got the divorce papers from Adam, I was in such a bad place in my life that it nearly broke me. But now it's, it's not like that. Sure, I'm really sad it didn't work out with Scott, and I was devastated when he rejected me and turned himself in, but I'm not lost anymore. I mean, I may not have the life that I dreamed of having with Scott, but... But you have a lot. Yeah. Even though one terrible chapter is ending, I... Still have plenty of possibilities. Yeah, I guess I do. And when this divorce is final, you'll be free to have whatever life that you want. Is it horrible that I'm really, really excited about that? No, no not at all. In fact, it is really exciting. Don't worry, you're still alive. I wasn't worried. He's gonna make it though, isn't he? No way to predict that outcome at this point. It's weird watching a man who's made life a living hell for you and your family fight to stay alive. Knowing if he does make it, he'll be out there again, causing more trouble. Believe me, if he makes it, I will personally make sure he does not cause harm to anybody that we care about. The worst part isn't even what he does to us, it's what he makes us do to ourselves. Are you talking about Greenlee? He makes us want him dead and then feel guilty for feeling that. Turns us into somebody we don't even recognize. Then we can't let that happen. No. We can't. That's all I have left. My note to him. And now it means nothing because he's gone. It does mean something. He came to save you. I know. He came to save you because of what David did. Yes. But that's not the only reason. I don't understand. He came to save you because I asked him to. He was angry that I kept trying to help you and Ryan. He hated that I kept risking our family and our happiness. After everything that we went through, we were finally together again. We were finally safe. He loved me. And when I got Ryan's message, I asked him to go for me. This man loved me. This man would have done anything for me. All he wanted was to stay with his wife and with our boys. But I made him. I sent him. I, I told him Don't to go. Don't do this. Don't yes. do this. No, I sent him. I sent him on that plane, and now that plane is at the bottom of the ocean. My Zach. My husband. My love. My everything is at the bottom of the ocean. Then what do I have? What do I have? I have a, I have a, a bag and, and a note. You have a lot more than that. You're right. You're right. I have, I have pain. And I have emptiness. And I have anger. And I have anger at David. I have anger at you and Ryan. But mostly I have anger at myself. No, Kendall, this is not your fault. No! <laughs> 
Zach was the love of my life. And he was the love of my life. And he is gone. He is gone forever because of me. He is dead because of me. <laughs> This is not your fault. Kendall, do you hear me? No one made Zach do anything. It is not your fault. Blame David, blame me, but do not blame yourself. I need to say goodbye. Probably should get to bed, huh? Big meeting tomorrow. Big meeting. Yeah. It's gonna be great. You're gonna be great. We're gonna be great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Means a lot. Means a lot to me, too. And, uh, I'll be here bright and early to come get you. Just gotta get my jacket. I'll be, I'll be ready. All right. JR. Yeah? Sleep tight. You too. It's me. Uh, did you forget something? Ryan behind that table today, Greenlee. Riding behind bars for the rest of his life. Not you. It was never supposed to be you. Ryan and I wouldn't be together if it wasn't for your sick plan. So thank you, really, from the bottom of my heart. Everything you did to pull us apart pushed us together. <laughs> and Kendall is going to get through this. I promise. Only you. 